Hello, this is Derek Tebbers, and this is your Flight Simulator X Mod Spotlight. Hello, and welcome to cold and snowy Helsinki, Finland. We are in a buffalo. Um, the reason we're in Finland for a Brewster Buffalo, which was an American fighter aircraft, is actually because the Finnish Air Force made great use of the buffalo in fighting the Soviet Air Force. Um, they made such good use of this aircraft. They had a number of aces who scored large victories with this aircraft. The United States, the British, the Dutch, not so much love for this aircraft. Uh, but it had some things that that were revolutionary. It had uh, flush riveting, uh, stress skin. I had an integral flotation device for naval when it was a naval aircraft. It had fully retractable front landing gear, partially retractable rear landing gear. Things that you know, you, by the first couple of years of World War II, were considered normal, uh, but this was the first. And the uh, Finnish Air Force used it to great, great uh, pride. Really, um, they had some great aces that came out of this aircraft. Now, this mod, uh, link is in the description. Um, the mod creators, uh, well, I, I've got a problem with the prop. <laughs> you probably saw it when I was panning around earlier. Uh, I got a problem with the prop. Also, you start like right on top of these gauges and I had to go almost all the way back uh, before I could actually see my gauges. So that's, that's kind of a problem with it. Uh, they did include a checklist. I wonder if that's actually, does that show up? Because the checklist was just hilarious. Oh yes, here it is. Um, where was it? Um, oh, it was uh, when we were getting ready to go into combat. Preparation, preliminary, start engine, taxi. Good grief. Um, let's take off. Um, am I not going... Where's Where's the... It's just repeating the same thing again, isn't it? Starting engine warming up, taxiing out, take off, preliminary, starting engine warming up. Yeah, it's just repeating the same thing over and over and over. Well, that's nice. Um, so, in the uh, actual raw file, it says um, one of the first things you check off when you're going into combat is extinguish any any smoking objects. Like, really, wh what were they doing? Smoking while flying the plane? Oh yeah, I'm just gonna take a drag on the cigarette while I'm flying my aircraft full of fuel and explosives. Um, but yeah, it was. I thought that was kind of funny. All right, so let's go shift one. Um, great, that takes me back to like too close. Oh, there's my throttle quadrant. Good. Shift three is my starter RPM oil. Shift four. Ooh, what's this? Oh, carb heat. Fuel transfer pump. All right. Shift five. Oh, yep. We saw this on um, the Boeing. Uh, P12 ADF um, 6 gets me a GPS and uh, 7 is nothing okay um, all right I need to back up again nope that's that's the wrong way <laughs> control oh too far there now I need to go up yeah okay all right so the prop is a problem but uh, yeah, let's let's take to the skies and uh, see how this plane performs. So that'd be uh, so that'd be interesting. All right, parking brake off, throttle up, manifold pressure rising, RPMs rising. Something is in my way. Oh my gosh, I can't see. Oh gosh. Oh, there we go. Woo -hoo. Thought I was gonna die there for a moment. Um, I'm, par I'm apparently way back. Let's all right. All right, there we go. <laughs> I tried to go all the way back so I could see my gauges and look what happened to me. All right, and I think we're nope, we're not out of it. We're not off the ground yet. Oh, that's right. <laughs> oh, oh, there, there are the flaps. We. All right, gears in. Put those flaps back up. Yeah, look at that. Oh, look at the engine. You can see it's sort of sparking, kinda. I mean, I don't know what the blue lights there, but... Yeah, that's interesting. I mean, it's a little stubby aircraft. 
Looks like it would be an awesome little racer, modded up, you know? The Navy, the U.S. Navy version, the uprated version, had like a 1,400 horsepower engine. That prop is just, I'm not happy with that prop. Alright, how does it feel inside? I, I can't see squat in front of me. Um, because of the prop. That's alright. I mean, it's not alright, actually, but you get what I'm going for. Okay, I'm kind of confused by my RPM gauge. What's, what's going on with that? My RPM gauge... Look my RPM gauge. Okay, that's throttled all the way off. That's full throttle. <laughs> what? I'm confused. Um, cylinder temperature looks good. Ooh, temp temp is not good. Let's let's, let's quieter. Let's uh, see if that'll settle that temperature down. Maybe. Do you think? Is the temperature moving? Am I gonna blow up my plane? <laughs> These are important questions. I saw another airport. Or is that the airport I took off from? I don't know. I'm completely uh, clueless when it comes to Finland. Oh, my temperature is still... Is it rising or is it leveled off? I think we have a temperature problem. <laughs> oh wait, there's the, air, there's the airport. There's a Mooney Bravo taking off. Well good, we'll cycle into the land on this runway, whatever airport this is. It's not the airport we took off from, but that's okay. Um... So, temperature is in the red. Oh, it is rising. But I don't know how to get it down. I've got the engine throttled way back. You can tell by manifold pressure I've got that thing throttled way back. I overheated my airplane. Well, that's not good. Um, do not lower flaps above 130 knots. Okay, well, we're kind of cruising at 130 right now. I, mean, I think the plane is neat. I wish that prop... I mean, that prop just is so ugly, I can't even look at it. That prop fix, this would be a nice little plane. I mean, it does give you kind of a headache, that temperature gauge. It just keeps going up. I think I borked it. I borked the plane. Um, the RPM gauge also isn't working very well, so... That's a problem. Hmm. Um, where'd that airport go? Oh, there it is, right there underneath me. How about that? Little airport. Kind of heading in a downward attitude here. Oh, let's climb. I would really like you to cool off their temperature gauge. And my fuel gauge shows empty. Well... Well, that's kind of silly, because I know I put full fuel in this plane. Huh. Yeah. No, I'm really I'm really just annoyed by that prop, more than anything. Where'd the runway go? What's back there? Oh, look, there's the other airport. We took off from that one over there. Now we're going to land at this one over here. Why? Because that's the way things work with me. Yeah. Ugh, that prop. Temperature, the temperature is... The cylinder temperature is going up. Why is the cylinder temperature going up? Oh, this plane makes no sense to me. I have no fuel, even though I have fuel. My RPM gauge is broken. My temperature just goes up. But, I mean, it's a neat little looking plane. The temperature is probably going up because I just absolutely floored it taking off. I do that a lot with the uh, P-51. I forget about that, and I floor it, and then you just break the P-51. Um, where's the runway? There's the runway. Alright, so let's drop our wheels. There we go. Gear down. Let's go ahead and give it some flap. Let's see how much flap we can get out of this plane. That's, all, that's a good bit of flap for a plane this age. However, we're still going down. <laughs> we're going down, we're going down. Okay, we got to throttle up. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna knacker the engine more. Cause we need we need air speed. We need speed. Okay, not too much. Okay, now the prop's gonna be a problem because it's gonna block my line of sight into that runway. It's excellent. Yeah. Okay, so that prop that prop makes me upset. <laughs> um alright. Why are we still going down? I want to go up. Give it some power. Um, okay, we're going to have to land outside the plane because I can't see a bleeding thing. Look at it coming in. Yay! Except for that prop, it still looks like a mess. Grr. Grr prop. Grr. Alright. Well, you know, we, we, we got the, I got this Brewster because I was kind of curious about some of the old old uh, warplanes in the early days of World War II. Um, the P-12 from Boeing was okay, except for the landing gears mysteriously disappeared. Um, this aircraft is okay, except for the prop is horrible. There we go. Nice touchdown. Let's see if we can slow her down. Kind of pulse the brakes, because... I don't want to do an endo. <laughs> I don't want to do that. I can do it, though. Whee! Oh, 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 no, 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 no! Dope. Okay, we're back on the runway. Um, yeah, this is actually how you start. I mean, this is how on top of the gauges you sit. Look at that. See, my fuel's still empty. RPM is... RPM is gibberish. Oh, wait. Did I break my RPM meter? Oh, that's special. Uh, so I broke the RPM gauge on takeoff. Huh. Well, so that that teaches you follow the checklist. Don't don't screw around too much because you'll break your RPM gauge. And also don't screw around on your landing because you'll end up nosing. Uh, oopsie, my fault. All right, so the RPM gauge works. The suction gauge works. Fuel gauge does not work. I want to tap it and make it work. <laughs> uh, uh, all the gauges work nice. It's just that prop. Ugh. This aircraft is one that will require meticulous management of the various... I mean, you floor this thing and you're going to break your gauges. So if I do that and don't floor it... Ooh, we're torquing. And again, you can't see with that prop, so it's kind of difficult. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. We got, we got flaps. Put the flaps down. Yeah. Oh, wait. My RPM gauge broke again. What the bloody buggers? Why did it suddenly break? I don't understand. I didn't change anything. Oh, my temperature gauge is off the scale again, too. What the... Oh, crap, we've, we've wandered off the runway while I'm busy goofing around. Um, okay, so we're just going to abort this uh, flight here. Ooh. No, don't, don't, don't crash. We're, we're aborting. We've got all kinds of engine problems. So this aircraft is uh, <laughs> a finicky, finicky aircraft. Um, I think with that prop fix it could be a fun aircraft. But with that prop it's probably not going to stay in my hangar. There we go. But uh, this is the uh, Brewster Buffalo. Uh, link is in the description as always along with credits. Uh, I've been Derek Tebbers with your Flight Simulator X Mod Spotlight.